the mummy. The mummy, not mummy. There's a Xavier Dolan movie called Mummy. That's in Mother, diminutive for Mother. That is excellent. <clears throat> the mummy, uh, this is the 50s adaptation that it was on television one of these days. Uh, is uh, <laughs> considered such a such an attractive offer for the audiences, for the public, that it was uh, not just made as the mummy, uh, I don't know, five times, ten times more, but as the mummy returns and, and variations on this uh, myth. So, I think you either embrace um, uh, the story, you believe in superstitions, in mummies, ghosts, <laughs> things coming back from, from the dead, and so you follow it, follow it with interest, with awe, power, fear, or oh, you don't, and then why watch it? So, uh, how do things can have a serious impact? I know from experience. <laughs> um, so, in the communist days, in the Ceausescu regime, after the Ceausescu regime, officially had two hours of television, horror. <laughs> horror show. <laughs> That was a real horror show, it's come to think of it. Well, unless, of course, you, uh, again, uh, as some idiots of the sauna, uh, make the apology for me. I, I had food, he says, uh, uh, running hot water. I was uh, living in the center. He didn't say I was a nomenclatura, but then, there you go. <laughs> the animal farm. George Orwell, some animals, all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. We, we know that from, from, from experience. In practice, that's what happened. So Orwell was spot on in this and so many other things. Double think. <coughs> Hate speech, big brother. Sorry, I'm trying to come back from a long distance. Um, Yes, in the communist days, you had the horror show, two hours of television a day, and I was watching Ceausescu doing things, visiting plentiful shops <laughs> on the screen. In reality, I was empty. We had to queue for bread, for milk, anything, and that everything was scarce. So, in you had underground some uh, places where you could watch films. And to cut this uh, uh, tangent short, um, I know one of the films that impressed me was uh, The Evil Dead or something with the forest with trees coming from people. And I was panicked, scared, shitless. <laughs> Bad people, my mistake. I, I admit to uh, to this uh, frailty um, to one extent. On the other hand, when push comes to shove, when the challenge was there, I was really brave uh, because I wouldn't watch me. Yeah, it was sort of scary, could combine with something disgusting because there was green things, fluids, yeah. so, but then I went when, when there was a chance, I keep speaking about that, but then what else can I rack about, that's the most important thing, uh, I took part in the revolution, not a big thing, but still I went there in the square with, 150 to 100 others at the Roman Square, not at the University Square. I mean, news, 
because I met Michael Myers in the, in the news of the gospel, news which was a big thing. No longer extant now. So that was what well, that was a thing. Um, about the mummy I was supposed to talk. <coughs> I didn't. Um, but let me say something important. Now that's a connection I can make for you. Unsurprising because it is the line motif I have. I keep saying it. it's not only for an obsession, I just say this is this represents evil, decay, uh, uh, stupidity that you know, humanity can do great things. Uh, but let me just mention King, King's aim, so I'm very pleasure. Phenomenal lines. Of course, you have Einstein, Shakespeare, Da Vinci, and then you have Trump, the, the mummy, the orange mummy, the, the evil spirit, Satan, if you believe in those things. Now, that's the mummy for you, the return of the mummy. 